Hello everyone, Dependent Senpai here, and welcome back to Let's Play Usurper. Uh, and I was just going to the AI core, and I have... Okay, scratch that. Okay, I am back. Hello everyone, Dependent Senpai here. And I was going to the AI core, and I found this. So, just wanted to show you guys. I forgot that there. So let's go to the AI core, even though I took damage. I don't really care. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I hope, I expect. And here we are. So I'm guessing like each one of these blocks takes to a different room. So possibly I'll have to memorize this. Let's stick with always the right one. Oh, the, your, my pet scared me. Okay, last one, what's written here? None of this cube seems to be affected by the strong winds outside. Whatever force is suspending them is beyond our knowledge. Okay, and now let's see the, this one. Now everything to the back. And I'm back here. So let's try it again. This one. Is it this one? No. Three, two, one, two, one. Oh, this one only has one way, and I'm back. Okay, so three, two, one. So I got that there. Let's go one again. Two. Oh! How is that fair? How is that fair? Yes, oh! Damn it! Too many shots. Okay, I'm gonna get better. Where did you go? Damn it! No! Ah! <laughs> it teleports right up my face. Ooh, that was close. No! Ah! Oh, I did not see that. Oh, I was doing so well. Okay, one more hit. Come on. No! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, my hand twitched and I didn't pass it in time. Attack! Oh, the bomb exploded right up my face. What? Ah! What? Take that. I 
I'm getting the timing. Too many bombs. <laughs> okay, got this now. Oh, I almost got greedy! Yes! No! What the? I killed it! Come on! I killed it! What? I killed it! Oh, it did work and count as a kill. And now I go here? What? Please don't tell me I glitched it. I mean, I can't get any more relics. What the hell? Oh. I know this place. What about this one? What? Oh. Didn't know there were more places to go. Apparently this is a one-way trip. Ugh, let's try the other one now. This one. Uh, two? Okay. There is one more. Okay, this one. And now first one. Nope, nothing else here. Uh, that's weird. I killed the boss. I got nothing out of it. Did they glitch it? Please don't tell me I glitched it. I'm even gonna save it on a different save now. Oh. Okay, I'm back up here. Let me save up on a different save if possible. There you go. Uh, let's talk to these people. Talk. I said talk. Finally, the path to the navigator is open. And Saragat shall deliver the final challenge to the navigator himself. So, you and your ilk will just keep praying to the cradle. It is our duty. The master will need a new body to seat the throne and navigate the citadel after all. You will take all these things with you, right? That's rather rude. They have feelings, you know. So they have feelings in autonomy, or are they just your puppet? Do they, actually? Uh, you never know. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, before he was talking like he can talk through then and he can control then. And now they are saying they have feelings. What the heck? You're terrible, Woven. Okay, that's all there is to say. What about the queen? My queen, what is it? About Wolven. He only wishes to confirm that your information about me is correct. If that's the case, I'd prefer to hear it from him. He's right. He's exactly what... He's exactly who we thought. Well then, allow me to pay my respect. Long dead ruler. I am grateful. Now that my niceties are out of the way, why hide it? Need you ask? Who does not dream of everlasting life? Of knowledge from beyond? So is that it? You want to live forever? Originally, yes. Now, however, I am bound by duty to my kin. To do my best for them. You go about that in a very interesting way. In a very interesting way. Would you prefer I picked my Weimar from the living? You have seen that I am capable of ensnaring the living the same way. Do you wish me to use the life of those? No. Twisted though your Weimar might be, they represent, they represent hope and a second chance. I know they are suffering and sacrifice. They are suffering and sacrifice. I know, I know they're suffering and sacrifice. Okay, my, my bad. Still, I understand the, the need. 
There are some things one cannot avoid when fighting what lies beyond. I am pleased to see you reflect on your suffering in such a light. Understand I had no choice but to use the Weimar. No normal force can face the horrors that seep into our reality. As I said before, when the Citadel is dealt with, I want to have a long talk with you, Alfred. I'll see what I can do. Now, go and finish this, lay waste to the navigator, and remove this, his view from our great capital. As you wish, my queen. Alright, that was a long chat. Wait, what? What happened here? So, this is what you meant by borging. It seems a terrible thing. Is that its brain? Only if you're not giving a body or a speaker unit. He can hear us? Very much so. He shall remain here for as long as his brain lasts and perform a severs to me by easing Dao's suffering. Eventually, his mind will be crushed and his personality will be damaged beyond repair. Yet, he still will fulfill his service to me. Wow. It appears incredibly cruel. After what he did for hundreds of years, it is more than deserving. I don't have to explain to you the pain and suffering his type can cause. Wow. I can still respect my stats though. What about these guys? Do they have anything else to say? Ah, you found the derelict. Oh yeah, the, the spaceship. A wondrous sight, was it not? It looked like some sort of warship from the inside. Did it say the ocean's on some other world? Such small imagination. The derelict sailed the void, so to speak. It used one of the methods of traveling in the void. The least efficient method. Uh, method. The way of physically traveling. It's a spaceship. That's impressive. So it is possible. Just like the Jules books. That is fascinating prospect. However, as I said, that method of travel is inefficient and rather long. It also requires an incredibly high level of technological and mechanical skill to successful, successfully execute. It is to be commended, I suppose, no matter how misguided it is. So we could take it and let's say go to the moon. You're truly odd, you have seen far weirder and more unnatural things on the Citadel compared to your potential life experience. But this is what excites you? The prospect of visiting a dead rock? We look on the moon most nights of our lives, you could not understand. Well, I suppose it's a noble motive for an evolving, a evolving race like yours, if it gives you access to expanding knowledge. You know, that is the nicer thing you have said about human. Lower races are, how shall I put it, are adorable within their primitive motives. I take that back. Well, let's just see if Lord Waltham can take on the navigator. I'm looking forward to the result. results. Oh, I never got into messing with spells. There's like the Blast of Cues, Winds of Hastor, and Blasting of Nodens. They are all like Eldritch scaling. Except for this one. And they all use both, I mean, either ammo or arrows. Cannot talk to these guys. What about you? What do you have to say? Congratulations, my lord. You have defeated your final opposition before the navigator. The citadel shall belong to Lord Walvenson. Oh, what's this? Are you perhaps sad your co collaboration shall come to an end? Have you come to realize the value in such partnership? That thing I saw. Are you sure I should not tell the queen? What? Certainly not. Under no circumstances are you to reveal my identity to anyone. Not even my lost, most loyal servants. Oh. You're asking a lot. Well, now you know what you should honor my request. Now that you that now that you know that you should honor my request, so I ask you, not as your tenant, but as your lord, 
Do not reveal my identity to anyone, not even to your sweet Lanessia. And where is Lanessia to talk about her, actually? Now that you mention her. Swear on your title as a servant of the Empire. I swear, for I am Saragat, fourth knight of the Angelic Empire of Britannia. I will keep my word of Walden. Thank you, Saragat. Are the lords alright? Having second thoughts about this path ahead? No, nothing of the sort. I just got distracted. Let's move on and end the navigator for good. May the Lord Walden's rule be long and prosperous for the citadel. Yes. And I never got to see like the donation to the Elder Gods as well. Um, so that was just... Oh, let's just kill this fool. Saragat was just talking like thinking to Walden. Let's see this. I heard a scream from the upper levels. I assume it was your doing? Maybe you heard Walton screen. Wait, what? Oh, do tell. We eliminated we eliminated the fog eater. It is the entity responsible for regulating the fog around the citadel and ensuring the safety of all within by using it as a defensive and offensive tool. So what's that about the Lord Walton screaming again? Oh, possibly when he saw like the his memories. The nonsense spewed by a knight who enjoys his first bit of leverage over my wa of me while he should be very much focused on our final objective instead of chit-chatting with you. What? I merely paid the common courtesy to Howard here for sharing so much with a slow and mundane knight about this place. What's going on? I am very thankful for the information, Lord Walton. I shall pray no further. I wish you great luck in your final challenge. Should you win, I shall depart from the citadel with my friend. Oh, is he leaving? Take care, and shall we meet again under better circumstances? Hmm. Alright, I think that's about it for like the chat. Nothing has changed here. These things are still the same. Doing so much damage. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. I'll see you guys in the next one and possibly that might be the last one. I will play for a long while and see if like there is enough to show and like if it's too short, sadly it's gonna end there. But if it's quite long, I'll try to fit within one hour. So thank you all for watching once again and please drop a like and subscribe if you may. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.